Summer is officially in full swing. I don't know about you guys, but it has been hot. It has been dry, like legitimate drought conditions here. So we're off to a great start this summer so far. I've already done my uh, summer designer list video covering over all of the, you know, $100 and below affordable summer scents. I also did my uh, top 10 summer fragrance clones as well. So I'm trying to kind of roll all of these options out there for you guys. But another kind of category I want to focus on is cheap but good performing summer scents. And that's kind of a two for one deal. And the reason why I want to stress that is that oftentimes when you go down into the cheap category for summer scents, but also just across the board, even fall winter scents, a lot of the times with that lower price does also come lower performance. And that's not what everybody wants. Now in a perfect world, everything would cost 35 bucks and last for 12 hours, but that just isn't reality. So, and especially with summer scents. Today, we're gonna be going over 10 cheap summer fragrances that do last over eight hours. We're not getting crazy, super strong beast mode performance out of these. There's really few and far between to kind of match up to that category, but all of these will get you through the day easily. In order for these to be cheap, you have to purchase through discounters. Retail is not gonna be the way to go if you want to retain the prices I'm talking about, which I try to keep everything at about 35 to $40 and below. So I'll link everything down below to discounters so you can pick them up. And if you are on the hunt for anything rare, discontinued or hard to find, or if you want to get notified when brand new releases hit discounters below retail, hit the first link down below, sign up to my mailing list or send a text to the number down below. Just recently, Aqua de Jo Parfum, uh, Guerlain Lome, uh, Ideal Platine Privé, brand new. These are dropping um, below retail already, along with some Blue Electrique kind of sprinkled in there, some Mancera Tonka Cola. I'm trying to rack my brain what else we've had. Um, it's been a pretty interesting month. There's a lot of great things been popping up. So get on the list. You don't want to miss out. Let's get things kicked off with Ferragamo Womo Urban Feel. This one's got bergamot, ambroxan, ozonic notes, and sage. This is uh, entirely different than the original and signature. So essentially they have two sweet ones for fall and winter time and two fresh ones. The fresh ones are this one and Casual Life. Uh, Urban Feel is probably the better performer between the two, but it's not gonna be by a huge margin. So you could kind of go for whichever one you like better. This one pretty consistently hits the eight hour mark. It's not gonna shoot too far past that, but it is a $30, $35 scent that's very fresh, very bright, very invigorating, and ultimately incredibly versatile for the summertime. Next up, we'll go with Lacoste Match Point. This is the Eau de Parfum. Now this has citruses, pepper, and vetiver in here. So soapy clean, citrusy, little bit spicy off the top, but that does dissipate pretty quickly. Nice, clean easy going, a green kind of scent as well. A little bit of geranium in here, I believe. I don't think I wrote that one down, but that kind of also adds to that green kind of slight mintiness that you pull from this one. Um, they have uh, a new cologne version, I think that came out this year, which I haven't tried yet, or maybe it came out last year, uh, but the Eau de Parfum is one of my favorites that I have tried. This one does have better performance compared to the Eau de Toilette, the original one, and uh, it's a little bit more interesting overall, but it still maintains an affordable price and it does have good performance. Next up, we have Hugo Boss Reversed. Now this one has some great fruit, um, some rosemary in here, vetiver, kind of an ambroxan twist. It's so, so good for the price. I think it's $35, somewhere around in there, and this is a 125 ml bottle, so you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck. I've kind of described this one as being an Elysium inspired scent or it's kind of in the same realm because of the type of vetiver that they're using here. That's one way you can look at it. Definitely not a clone, but it, it kind of is accomplishing a similar thing of, of having a ton of mass appeal, being really good for the high heat. And in this case, the quality performance to price ratio is off the charts. It is one of the best in the Hugo Boss canteen bottle line like this and honestly it might just be one of the best from the brand in general when we're talking their affordable ones. I highly recommend you get a bottle of this one. It's uh, one that kind of goes out of stock sometimes and you know peak season so if you want a bottle I would get it now before we really get into July August where it's getting even more hot out. Next up, we'll go with Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. Now, what's nice about these is they're already affordable, but if you 
want to save even more money, you can go for a tester just like this and still get a cap. Um, testers do come with a sticker on the back that says tester, they'll give you some notes, but it's pretty cool that they actually include the cap on these. So it's another way to save money. Uh, Legend Spirit, I'm sure you've heard of it. It's caught some hype. It's kind of an Invictus Aqua smelling thing, and it was one of the go-to alternatives back when the 2016 version was starting to get hard to find and, and rumors of discontinuation started floating around. Those rumors obviously turned out to be true that, that we have found out years ago at this point, right? But um, this is one even now that you can still get for a great price and it has great performance. You could also go for something like Rasasi Hawas. It's kind of mid 40s and it does sell out. This one's a little bit more affordable and still does do a very similar thing and that performance holds up in the heat. Kind of go with another clone up next with Jimmy Choo Man Ice. And ironically enough, it's another tester. So it's already affordable. You can get a tester that does come with a cap and there's the sticker on the back. And uh, I'm trying to think, uh, where does it say tester at? Uh, right there kind of underneath the batch code. You're probably not even gonna be able to see it, but it's there. Testers, right? I buy them when I can as well. As long as it comes with the cap, I'm doing that to save money. And this is a clone of Dior Homme Cologne, which is, you know, 100 bucks at a minimum on discounters even still. And it also is uh, not really the greatest performer. It doesn't make this video. It's not cheap and it doesn't have eight hours. Uh, this one, on the other hand, is cheap and you can stretch eight hours out of this one. One of the reasons why is because this is using some patchouli, um, some vetiver, some other woods going on in here. And uh, essentially it takes the Dior Homme Cologne DNA and beefs it up and that's what gives it that extra performance. They're still very similar and you can tell that what they were trying to do here, but it does have more going on, which does give it that extra kind of uh, performance boost that a lot of people would like to have and it's easier on the wallet. Next up, we'll go with John Vervedo's Artisan Pure. This one has orange, it's got clementine, it has uh, petty grain in here, uh, some neroli as well. I love it, absolutely love it. One of the most unique summer designer offerings on the market, in my opinion. And this is every bit of 36 bucks or so for 125 ml. Great price per mil, great value, great bang for your buck, great quality, especially. Quality is very impressive across pretty much all of these John Vervedo's fragrances. And again, I wanna mention it, super unique. Very rare that you get something this unique at this price point. There's not a whole lot of other things that really smell like this one. Yeah, it gets compared to maybe your Neroli Portofino fragrance kind of styles and stuff, but this one also does its own thing here. But it does maintain that artisan DNA with all of the orange, and that's another thing that I like about it. It is a true flanker. It's not redundant, but it isn't completely different either. And yeah, you can get every bit of eight hours out of this one, especially if you apply it a little bit heavier. This one will go pretty far and that's impressive given the price point. Okay, this next one is uh, as, as low as 29. I think I've seen it for 28, 29, maybe 27 um, for testers and just a touch over 30 for full presentation. It's Rokas Loam, just the original one here. This is my favorite of the two. There's this, an aromatic touch. I'll take the original any day. It's got grapefruit, juniper berries, pineapple in here. A little bit more mature, a little bit more refined with a little tad bit of a sweetness. Not too much, I still think it's uh, very doable in the summertime, but I do think it does lean towards the work slash office environments in the summertime, or maybe even a summer evening going out, that type of thing, if you do wanna smell a little bit more upscale and classy. But one thing that I can say is that when you factor in the price, the performance, the quality, and the uniqueness, it is hard to find a better deal than this one. It really brings a ton to the table, and it's one of my favorites. Okay, this next one is about $40 or so, uh, Bentley for Men Silver Lake. And the way I describe this one is, it kind of smells a little bit like Aqua de Joe Ascenza. Remember that, you know, it's discontinued, has been for years. It's kind of in that vein, has a little bit of the original Aqua de Joe, a little bit of Profondo, kind of. It's kind of hitting on a few of those different popular Aqua de Joe scents, which are all much more expensive than this. And, and also, you don't always get the best performance out of some of those, especially the EDT, right? Um, Profondo, Profumo, the new Parfum, they do very well, but um, some of the others, not so much. This one does very well. It's an easy eight hour scent. It's an Eau de Parfum, which is another bonus to this. And again, it's an affordable one. 
Let's keep it moving with Davidoff Cool Water Parfum, which is still probably my favorite cool water release. And we've had quite a few since then. I believe we've had like Reborn. We've had Grapefruit and Sage. Um, has there been any more? I can't remember for sure. I buy them each time, but at this point, it's really getting hard to remember. There's so many. Uh, the Parfum is kind of old news now, but it's still one of my favorites, and I think it's one of the best overall. I would take this over the Eau de Parfum any day, which I think the Eau de Parfum, they really kind of lost their way with that one. It got much more sweet. They're using, I think, a coconut in there. That was never my favorite. I will say, though, that the Eau de Parfum does have great performance but it almost kind of loses that summer feel. The Parfum surprisingly brings that back. So it's got vetiver, lemon, and pink pepper in here. Oh man, it smells great. It's refreshing, it's soapy clean and fresh with a little bit of a spicy kick off the top. It's a great scent for a great price. And again, if you're looking for a modernized, good performing version of Cool Water, this is probably the one you should have. And if you were to buy one Cool Water scent in 2023, I think you should make it be the Parfum. And we are going to finish this video off with Hugo Boss Selection, another one of my favorites. And uh, this is every bit of 26 to, I think, uh, $30, somewhere around in there. You know, very affordable. It's got musk, pink pepper, and grapefruit. This is probably one of the best soapy clean but unique office work school scents that you can buy, again, at an affordable price if I didn't say that already because it legitimately smells like an inoffensive, clean, musky, kind of slightly spicy, but also kind of uh, has a little bit of a mysterious edge to it. Maybe not mysterious, but there's something about it that separates it from everything else on the market and especially everything else in this price range that each time you smell it, you kind of are a little bit drawn in. You're a little bit curious. You want to see what else this one has to offer. And that's another reason why I really like it. I also think in the grand scheme of things, it's very underrated. You just don't hear about it all that often. I don't think this ever had a period where it got a bunch of hype, a bunch of talk, which I think is kind of a shame. I can't even remember when it came out. I'm sure at this point it's too late for that. There just isn't gonna be the buzz. It's not new, you know, it just doesn't really have that going for it but it could be our little secret. It's a really nice, underrated, cheap scent that I doubt anyone at your workplace is gonna be wearing. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. 10 cheap summer designer fragrances that last over eight hours or right there at the eight hour mark. If you're wanting to spend the least amount of money and get the best performance out of your summer scents, these are a great place to start right here. Sure, there's more on the market, but this is kind of the ones that I came up with right now. Again, links will be down below, so that way they will actually be cheap. Deals will be going out to my mailing list and my texting list. Also, you guys don't want to miss out. A lot of stuff has been dropping here within the past month or month and a half especially, and so many people are finally fulfilling those, those goals where they've been looking to pick up these certain rare items, and now they're getting them. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.